The following is an edited recording from a live video broadcast. Image and audio quality may vary. So I thought, well, how about we look at something completely different, right? And it's great sci-fi films uh, from 2000 to 2020. So that's 20 years worth, right, effectively. 2001. And now this movie I I did love. I really enjoyed it. Um, it was setting a trend for the future that kind of didn't happen, although now, these days, it's more common than it used to be. And, of course, that was Final Fantasy, The Spirits Within. Uh, all CG movie when they were trying really hard to do the whole... Um, it's like the digital facial, you know, looking, making people look like actual people. And they got pretty damn close, I've got to say. Uh, I looked at it as saying that when you saw an organic character, they look CG, like we can see there with Aki, and I can't think of the guy's name. But when you saw environmental scenes, they looked fantastic. They, they really did look very, very groovy. Um, and the downside to Final Fantasy, of course, was it was based on the game. And the game was obviously like Japanese orientated. So had it just been a straight shoot 'em up movie, bad guys versus good guys, it probably would have been very successful. But of course, in the story, they're dealing with the guy, the thing of the earth, and the ghosts and the spirits. And I think a lot of Western audiences will say, "What? <laughs> just shoot some shit, guys!" And of course, they didn't do that. So, uh, but I, I absolutely loved it. I thought it was fantastic. There's a lot going for it. Um, some beautiful visuals. And uh, yeah, the Uncanny Valley was starting to make its appearance here because they really did push the envelope. Uh, in the film, and as a result, it actually bankrupted the studio that made it. They just died in the ass. It just, it just died to death. But for those of us who still remember it, uh, will love it um, um, really with great passion. Uh, Jeff Rowe said he absolutely loves this movie. I do too. It's awesome. Um, and of course, a lot of it was made by um, Japanese studios. And you got the main character Aki, the lady, right? And believe it or not, I don't know why they did this, right? But in terms of some of the designs they did for Aki. And Chrissy's not going to be happy when he, she hears this. They did her in like bathing suits and all this sort of stuff. And you go, what the freaking test shots, right? You go, what the hell? What are you guys drinking? What the hell is the deal with that? So anyway. Mm. But it was a good film for those of us who remember it. Our guy loved it as well, um, which is kind of cool.